Yes, sir. Good evening, all. I'm Premi. Okay. Today is our second uh, foundation class for NEET JECUET. Today, let us see physics, mainly the topic motion. Okay. What is motion? Any idea, students? We all know we are all studied in our sixth standard itself. Okay. It is very simple. Motion is the change in position of an object with respect to its surroundings. The object which is not in motion is said to be at rest. The object which do not change their position are said to be at rest. Based on uh, some types, motions are of uh, different categories. They are the linear motion, oscillatory motion, circular motion and random motion. Okay. Linear motion is the, when an object moves along a straight line, it is known as linear motion. From one point to another point in a straight line, it is known as linear motion, oscillatory motion. Can we when say an object this uh, moves, train is moving from uh, one place to Salem to Coimbatore, is it in linear motion? Uh, Can we say that? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The train moves from uh, Pune to Bombay. So, like that, any place, from one place to another, that is called linear motion. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Now, oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motion is the to and fro motion. We can say the example of pendulum, uh, Columbus, what else? Yeah, uh, we can say these examples. Yeah, even then the clock, circular motion. The clock pendulum also goes, you know, this way, that way, no? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, okay, thank you. Then circular motion. When a motion, uh, when a body moves in a circular path, this is known as circular motion. For example, joint wheel moves in a circular motion. Then random motion. Any object which does not come under this category of a linear, oscillatory, or circular motion is said to move in a random motion. Okay. Then motions of uh, other two types also. They are the uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Uniform motion is when an object covers equal distance in equal uh, interval of time. It is known as uniform motion. So, say for example, if anyone moves a distance of uh, 10 kilometers, for first one hour, he moves in, uh, the interval taken by him is 15 minutes. For next uh, one kilometer also 15 minutes. For successive next next kilometer, 10, 10 kilometers. Also, if it is 15 minutes, then this motion is known as uniform motion. But human body cannot uh, move in such a motion, right? So, non-uniform motion comes there. It is unequal distance in equal uh, interval of time or equal distance traveled by body in unequal interval of time. This is known as non-uniform motion. Say, for example, the above example only, when a body wants to move... Uh, 10 kilometer distance. First um, one kilometer, he can travel in very little amount of time, like uh, 10, 10 minutes. Then for the next, uh, then for the next one kilometer, he can travel in 15 minutes. Then for the next kilometer, 20 minutes. If it, if the interval changes, then it is known as non-uniform motion. That's all. Uh, 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 Premi, I have one uh, doubt. This random motion, can yes. you give an example? Sir, we know no, sir, uh, Brownian movement okay. or football players or cricket players when they move. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. It thank is you. the most. Okay, okay. My, we are yes, children, uh, students, you keep these things in mind. These uh, no, non-uniform motion also. When I do marathon, first uh, kilometer I normally run by about within about 8 minutes. Second, maybe uh, about 9 minutes. But when I travel 15 kilometer, it takes about 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes like that. So it is a uniform, uh, no, I mean non-uniform motion. Because every one kilometer, I take, uh, you know, initially I take about 8 to 9 minutes. But later on, uh, later kilometers, I take about 12, 13, 14 minutes also. Okay, right. Thank you. Yeah. Harshita, can you read this? Yes, one of you can read this slide. Anyone? 
Yes, uh, Neha, you want to try? Neha, you want to try? So, yeah, please. Motion. Motion is the change in the position of an object with respect to its surrounding. The objects which do not change their position are said to be at rest. Types of motion. First, linear motion. <clears throat> Second, uniform motion. Equal Uniform motion is the equal distance in equal interval of time. Non-uniform motion non -uniform motion is unequal distance in equal interval of time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Let us see uh, what is distance and displacement. Both are uh, quite similar only, but there is a small variation that we have to keep in mind of okay. distance distance is the actual path traveled by a moving body irrespective of the direction this we have to keep in mind irrespective of the direction is known as distance traveled by the body it is a scalar quantity okay there is a small difference between scalar and vector quantity i hope you all know that can any of you tell what is that What is scalar and what is vector? Ma'am, scalar quantity means it has only its magnitude, ma'am. Ah, super. But vector has vector? both uh, direction and uh, magnitude, ma'am. Ah, exactly the same. Okay. Here, this uh, when we come to distance, it has only the magnitude. The distance traveled is 10 kilometer or like that only the value the numerical value that is the magnitude so that is scalar quantity but when we come to displacement displacement is the change in position of a moving body in a particular direction this we have to keep in mind it is based on direction it is a vector quantity so sabari said vector quantity depends on magnitude and the direction this we can let us see a small example. Okay. This sum. Can any, of you, uh, any one of you read this sum? A man is present at the point A. He wants to reach the point C in a short duration, which is the shortest part of reach the point C from A. Can you just work it out or just think? It is very easy problem only, or else within a few minutes I will uh, explain you. Yeah, five meters. From the point yeah, exactly. of the... Okay. Who said five meter? Can you just explain? Ma'am, the shortest distance is from A to C, ma'am. So, by ah. Pythagorean triplets, we will have it as five meters. Okay. Super, super. Okay. For others, let me just say... The distance travelled by him, if we want to say means, the actual path length travelled by him is A to B, then B to C. The distance travelled by him is 3 plus 4 meters equal to 7 meters. But the shortest distance, which is the displacement, is from A to C. That is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 3 square plus 4 square. Hypotenuse square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. Some of the Sorry. It is the hypotenuse, square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the square of the other two sides. Uh, so the hypotenuse is 5, as our students said. Super. Let us go to the sum. Any of you read this? I will read. An athlete covers a circular path. She starts from the point A and ends at the same point. What is the distance and displacement covered by the athlete? She starts from the point A and ends at the same point. Is displacement is equal very... to zero? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know. I am just asking you. 
asking our students is displacement is equal to zero yes sir may or may not be correct so you all just think and say yeah i'm just guessing it will be zero sir okay someone said uh, 62.8 okay uh, just uh, who said zero just explain that and 62.8 also just explain that yes sabari you can explain why it is zero i understand abhinav no problem uh, sabari can yes, no need abhinav you need not type uh, let sabari explain yes sir sir when the object travel uh, returns to the same position the displacement will be zero sir why that's what i'm asking why no. why do you say so displacement in the shortest because there is no because there is no shortest distance uh, okay, present the same point so shortest distance is zero okay that may be the reason yeah how did you get 62.8 you tell me the distance traveled is nothing but the circumference of the circle that is equal to pi r uh, 2 pi r so 2 pi r all of you yeah, calculate please all of you please calculate all of you please calculate what is 2 pi r and you come out with the answer sorry premi i am just you know uh, uh, making yes, it sir. a little you know uh, comfortable with the students okay you can you oh. can go slow premi no problem i mean you are going slow i am not saying 2 pi r yes, how sir. much any Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. Yeah, I did not talk actually. Ah, okay. I, I I want you to talk. Like I just you know whenever I just uh, interfere uh, interfere and then I will remove. I'll come out. Okay. Okay, okay sir. <laughs> Uh, you continue premi yes sir have you all calculated the distance covered distance covered is the perimeter of the circle we know that perimeter is equal to 2 pi r 2 into 3.14 into radius is given as 10 meter so that we get the answer 16 62.8 meter okay in the question it is asked to find both the distance and displacement displacement covered there is also we can also say that displacement is the difference between the final position and the initial posi position position here both the final and the initial initial hello sir am i audible sir yes ma'am okay here both the initial and the final position are same so that we get the answer that is the displacement as zero correct super you have answered correctly let us move to the next slide speed and velocity Uh, as we have seen uh, that distance and displacement are very similar like the same way speed and velocity are also very much similar only there is a small variation only speed speed is the rate of change of distance or the distance traveled in unit time it is a scalar quantity like the same way Uh, speed also depends only on the magnitude, not the direction. The SI unit of speed is meter per second. Uh, from the definition itself, we can say speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken. Okay. Now let us move to velocity. Velocity is the rate of change of displacement. In the case of velocity, it is the rate of change of displacement because distance. is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity that minute uh, difference all we have to note and it is a displacement in unit time it is a vector quantity the si unit of velocity is meter per second 
velocity is equal to displacement per time taken any one of you just read this yeah can you students can, any one of you can anyone read this vijayalakshmi you want to read srinidhi you want to try yes sir yeah carry on speed speed is the rate of change of distance or the distance traveled in unit time it is a scalar quantity the si unit of speed is m s minus 1 speed equal to distance traveled by time taken has to be srinidhi has to be read. meter per second okay yeah okay velocity velocity is the rate of change of displacement it is the displacement in unit time it is a vector quantity the si unit of velocity is meter per second velocity equal to displacement displacement by time taken yeah here i want to add so one thing premi uh, see the speed is given in meter per second sometimes it is uh, given in kilometer per hour also so when we talk about trains movement we always say the speed of the train is equal to 36 kilometer per hour normally we say like that so how do we convert kilometer per hour into meter per second can anybody tell yes sir Yeah. Sir, so, multiply by five by eighteen. Oh, by multiplying and five by eighteen, sir. Okay, I mean you multiply kilometer per hour into five by eighteen. That will give meter per second. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Why five by eighteen? Can anybody say the uh, reason why five by eighteen? Premi, sir, you need not interfere. Sir, Premi, you keep quiet. Now, others. Yeah, students, why five by eighteen? Sir, because one kilometer is equal to thousand meters, hmm. and one hour is equal to three thousand six hundred seconds. Okay, thousand divided by three thousand six hundred. Am I correct? Yes, sir. So that you simply why it will become five by eighteen. Yes, sir. Very good. So this you should keep in mind. Not necessarily this subject. This will be a, uh, you know used in many subjects. So when you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, you have to uh, multiply by five by eighteen. Why that pi by eighteen? You should also know. So I request all the students whenever you read something like this, uh, some uh, you know multiply by that or some formula etc. You have to find out the reason for that formula, how they derived that formula. Uh, definitely, it is, it will be there in your book. So the derivation also you can look at so that you will never forget. Even after uh, you know fifty years back, I studied this. I did not forget even today for the simple reason. at that time itself we i did not blindly say 5 by 18 i was actually conceptualizing how 5 by 18 was arrived so similarly if you do like this you will ever remember such things okay so that will be very useful for your competitive exam thank you premi for this uh, interference okay and um, this is the difference between speed and velocity well uh, the difference is that it is scalar it is vector uh, remaining all same only okay uh, let us work a sum first sum any one of you just read other than srinidhi neha others please an object travels 16 meter in 4 seconds what is the speed of the object yeah very simple just now we have seen the formula also ma'am 4 meter per second yeah exactly just for a uh, okay we know that speed is equal to just now we have seen Speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken. Here, distance traveled is given as 16 meter, and the time taken is given as 4 second. Just for formula, I will show this. Okay, I'm coming to the problem. 16 by 4, we know that 4 meter per second. Very simple problem. Okay, next sum. Let uh, let's see. Any one of you just read the second sum. 
An object travels 16 meter in 4 seconds then, and then another 16 meter in 2 seconds. What is the average speed of the object? This is something to ponder over. Very easy only, but a little, uh, little bit of the thing. 5.3 5 meter per second. No? Yeah, exactly. Others, others, she may or may not be correct. What is your answer? So 16 by 3. 16 by 3? Can you explain how? Ma'am, that is, uh, we, we have to add the total distance covered in two cases, ma'am, that is 32. And total time hmm. taken is 4 plus 2 is 6. So if we divide, we will get uh, 16 by 3. Yeah. Uh, final answer is 5.3. Okay. Uh, Premi, uh, Premi, Students, yeah, just for your uh, understanding, is, let me. Five, five answer is 5.3 meter per five. second. Am I correct? So, can can anybody convert this into yes, kilometer per hour? 5.3 meter per second is given. Now, can you convert that into kilometer per hour? That is 16 by 3. Is the is many meter per second? You can try to convert that into kilometer per hour. You have to multiply by eighteen by five, isn't it? When you want to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour, you have to multiply by eighteen by five. So you find out sixteen by three into eighteen divided by five. That will give you the answer. Sir, 96 by 5. 96 by 5. Are we getting 96 by 5? Others can vouch it. Others can check. One gentleman says 96 by 5. 16 by 3 into 18 by 5. So, you can work out that how much it comes. So, 96 by 5. Correct. It comes to 96 by 5. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay, very good, uh, Abhinav or Harshit, whoever has uh, spoken. Uh, 96, uh, yeah, that is okay, right. So, all of you have understood, Neha, or others, are you, are you with us? No, if you have any trouble, you yes, let me. Yes, sure. ah, Okay, okay. Carry on, uh, Premi, carry on, Premi. Let us um, see, actually, uh, this is the rate of change of velocity or the change of velocity. This rate of change means itself something divided by time. Okay. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity or it is the change of velocity in unit time. It is also a vector quantity. The SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Why is it meter per second square means? We know that uh, velocity divided by time. Velocity, the unit is meter per second inverse, and sorry, meter per second. And when we divide it again by time, it becomes meter per second square. Okay. Formula only have given. Acceleration is equal to velocity by time. Ah, velocity, there are two terms to say in uh, velocity. They are the initial velocity and final velocity. Initial, from the name itself, we can say, when... Um, when an object uh, moves, it's initially what is its velocity. Some object, it may be zero or some other also it can be. And when it stops or ends in a final position, whatever its velocity is, that is known as final velocity. Here the notation V denotes final velocity and U denotes initial velocity. Okay. Anyone of you just read this acceleration? Other than those who have uh, read uh, before? Yeah, come on.
Yeah, Neha, you can read. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity or it is the change of velocity in unit time. It is a vector quantity. The SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Acceleration is equal to velocity upon time. Acceleration is equal to initial velocity minus final velocity upon time. Okay, one, one small correction. It is final velocity minus initial velocity by time. Okay, thank you, Neha. Okay, welcome. Let's move to the next one. Equation of motions. This is very much important for your life, not for life, for your future studies. There are three equations of motion. This you have to keep in mind for sure. The first one is V is equal to U plus AT. We already said that V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, and a is the acceleration and T is the time. V is equal to U plus AT. This is the first equation of motion. Second one is S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. S is the displacement. S is the displacement traveled by an object. Second equation of motion is S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. Now the third one is V square is equal to u square plus 2as. I've already said v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity, and a is the acceleration. S is the displacement. Okay? Yeah, any one of you? Just read this. Now itself, uh, just uh, say it thrice. So that you can easily memorize it. Aditi Deshmukh, can you try? You want to try? Aditi? Adarsh, do you want to try? Just read whatever is given in the slide. Who else wants to come? Par Prarthana, do you want to try? Any, any new new person, Sachin Patel or Vijay Lakshmi, you want to try? You can come forward because uh, this is the way we learn. Uh, Swara Swasavant, how about you? You want to try? Okay, any our existing other students, anyone can read this. So if nobody is ready to read, I will read. V equal to U plus AT. Final velocity equal to initial velocity plus acceleration into time. S equal to UT plus half AT square. Displacement is equal to initial velocity into time plus half into acceleration into T square, time square. Then V square equal to U square plus 2AS. Final velocity, square of final velocity is equal to square of initial velocity plus 2 into acceleration into displacement. Okay. So, th these are the things you should keep in mind. Okay. Carry on. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, let us work some. Uh, now, some easy problems. Okay. Uh, first, uh, any of you, can you just read that second question? That is very simple. A car starts from rest and accelerates uniformly over a time of 5.21 seconds for a distance of 110 meter. Determine the acceleration of the car. Okay. Uh, we have Nega, seen, uh, just three. one correction I wanted to make so that uh, everybody will get benefit. Uh, when you read okay. 5.21, uh, you should mm -hmm. not say 21. What, what should you say? 
in many competitive exams uh, using this formula you have to put many sums okay just tell me what formula has to be used here to solve this problem ma'am v is equal to u plus a t ma'am okay just uh, use that and see Okay, for uh, since it is the first question, let me just uh, do it for you. Wait. Here the question asked is: A car starts from rest. It means its initial velocity must be zero. It starts from rest, so that its initial velocity is zero. What is the notation used for initial velocity? U, ma'am. Ah, okay. So u is equal to zero, and accelerates uniformly over a time of five point two one seconds. So here the time is given as five point two one seconds. One second. Ah, here water are last. Ah. Uh, What are all given? U is given. U is equal to zero. And time is given as five point two one seconds for a distance of hundred and ten meters. Distance can be distance or displacement, which can be represented by the letter S. Yes. It is given as hundred and ten meters. determine the acceleration of the car here what is asked a yeah. we have seen three um, equations of motion by keeping by keeping that in mind uh, the uh, in which in all these three comes initial velocity distance acceleration time One second. Let me just show that uh, slide again. V is equal to u plus t. Yes, it is equal to u plus half a t square. V square is equal to u square plus two a. Which formula you will use for this question? Second equation of motion. Yes, second equation. Now, uh, Premi, you can yeah, you can do the calculation and show them. That would be better. At yes, least, sir. Two three classes, uh, you keep doing it, and then maybe after two three classes, they will uh, you know also uh, join you. Sorry, okay. 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 Here uh, the equation that is used is S is equal to u t plus half a t square. Here the displacement is given as hundred and ten. Initial velocity, since it starts from rest, its initial velocity is zero. Time we know that five point two one second. Everything multiplied by uh, zero is zero. So that uh, let us just leave this term and half a t square, half into acceleration 
of the car only we have to find so let's just keep it uh, keep that as a and t square 5.21 square sorry 5.21 Just simplify this and say for simplification all you uh, calculators should not be used. You have to do it by your own. Then only it will become a practice to you all. Come on, students. I have just given it. the distance covered is 110 meters. Initial velocity is zero, so that uh, let us leave all these terms and half a square half into acceleration into 5.21 square. Taking it to another side, two into 110. This 5.2 square comes to the denominator. Sorry, this is uh, square. Just simplify and say. I hope you're all working out. Give them some time. Yes, sir. I am getting 8.15. I am not very sure whether it is correct. Yeah, yeah I am getting 8.1 something. Yeah. Okay, sir. Students, you all just say. All of you, please calculate and check whether you are getting 8.1. Do this calculation because such calculations are required to be done in the exam. So, you should be very comfortable in all these multiplication, division, etc. All of you, do the calculation, find the answer. I think Abuna, Abhinav is getting 8.1. I am getting 8.1. Anybody who is getting? Yeah, Vijay Lashmi also is getting 8. So, please, all of you, please try. All of you, okay. please try.
evening, madam. Good evening, madam. Madam, I am going to do a little bit of the government school. Okay, sir. That's why we have a NMMS class, an 8th standard class, an 8th standard class. We have a very good class, but we have a very good class. 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 Kena awak tu kunci kuriya ti pura, nama kunci mana kerja tu pun dia nak. Yang ada, yang ada seven point five percent dia dia will be successful. Kunci itu ada kunci success tu buy tu lagi kan. Awak tu teri mata kan mana? Biar orang ni lah. Jadi apa yang saya ilah nala, nala awak ni yang tu pergi ke apa kerja mana orang lain ni? Nampak tak? Kita nak kerja, but we thought we will create an awareness and then. Or tani al pori, or group eh pot eh, 7.5% tani pot eh, or group mana orang pot eh, kalau orang pernah. Nada sone, lama nak pot mana ni? Student sir, most all of you would have worked out this problem, have you all? Ah, nada al pori kali, adal nerei pon al change kali, al pon jebe, nama kita nama mesti nerei pun dah. Oi, ni tu pun ikut nama plan pon. Sir, am I audible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, teacher. Yes, you are audible. Okay. Premi. Premi. Okay. One, two, three, four, you can go to the next question. No, you don't have to go to the next question. If some four or five students, they do it, means almost all the people are able to do it. That's the meaning, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, let us uh, move to next um, next level of problem. This uh, third sum. Let us just uh, work with the third sum. Any one of you just read that. Read that. Car, a race car accelerates uniformly from 18.5 meter per second to 46.1 meter per second in 2.47 seconds. Determine the acceleration of the car and the distance traveled. Yeah. This is also very simple sum only as the previous one. I'll just give you a clue. Here, two uh, equation of motions has to be uh, used. Okay. Just to see, a race car accelerates uniformly from 18.5 meter per second to 46.1 meter per second. Here, uniformly from two, both are given. So, it is best equation velocity. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, you will say. Just say for and correctly only. You have said it correctly only. Yeah, man, v is equal to u plus a t ma. Yeah, correct. First formula that has to be used is V is equal to U plus A T only. Here, the initial velocity U is given as 18.5 meter per second. And the final velocity V is given as 46.1 meter per second. And the time is 2.47 seconds. Determine the acceleration. We have to find the acceleration. The acceleration of the car. First, we have to find the acceleration and then the distance traveled. 
yes is also has to be found out okay um they have given u v and t from that we can find the acceleration as uh, our students have said the formula used is v is equal to u plus at okay final velocity given initial velocity is given as 18.5 and the time is also given as 2.47 seconds we have to find the acceleration just substitution only just uh, work it out and say the answer I am getting eleven point one. Uh, I am getting eleven point one. Acceleration is eleven point one. Is it correct? A race car accelerates. That problem you are talking, no? Yes, sir. Yeah, eleven point one. I am getting. Then distance travelled. Uh, oh. You have to find out. Yeah, I hope uh, all of you would have worked that first part and got the answer as uh, eleven point one. Let us now move to the next part. Again, here final velocity, initial velocity, time, and now acceleration also we have found out. So using those, we have to find the distance or the displacement. How many formula we have for uh, finding out the distance? Two formula. Yeah, very good. We have two formula. They are. Can you just uh, say those two formula? Okay, fine. The um, to find the displacement, we have two formula. They are. Yes, is equal to u t plus half a t square, and v square is equal to u square plus two a s. Okay, first formula. Let us just uh, see. Yes, is equal to u t plus half a t square. U is given, t is given, a is also given, t also we have. So from that formula, yes is equal to. U T half A T square. We know that the acceleration we have found. What is the acceleration that you have found out now? Eleven point one seven. Eleven point one seven. Into 
टाइम इज टू पॉइंट फोर सेवन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज ऑफ Initial velocity is what? Sorry, this is the initial velocity and this is the final velocity. Yeah, initial velocity is eighteen point five. Eighteen point five into t. That is two point four seven. <laughs> Um, I think distance is seventy nine point five five. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, I was getting seventy eight. Approximate, I did approximately. So it got, I got seventy eight point nine. So maybe yours is correct. Uh, uh, Sir, exactly. Seventy nine point eight is the correct answer. Okay, okay. So all of you, please calculate because these okay. are some things uh, which will be very much required for your exam. so uh, premi we need not be in a hurry may make them to calculate at least you know couple of them has to do so that you know they are very yes. handy with uh, multiplication division and subtraction etc yes sir okay you can try one more problem premi and then we can close yes sir oh okay any one of you just read that first question An airplane accelerates down a runway at 3 point meter per second square for 32 point 8 second until it finally lifts off the ground. Determine the distance traveled before takeoff. Here u equal to zero, yeah, madam. Is it u equal to zero? Sir, here uh, placement is asked, sir. No, but u u equal to zero. Is it correct? Initial velocity. Airplane accelerates. Sir, uh, here initial velocity, final velocity is equal to zero, sir. Oh, okay. We have worked out two problems, so it will be very much easy to for you all to work out. Just work out this problem, last problem. Yes, sir. Initial velocity is equal to zero only, sir. Yeah, initial velocity equal zero. Ah, correct. Can you just try? Or else I'll just uh, help you out. You can try to do this problem, Premi. Yes, sir. Yeah, for the benefit of all the students, you please try. Yes. Oh. Airplane accelerates down a runway at three point two zero meter per second square. Here, the acceleration is given as three point two zero meter per second square for thirty two point eight seconds. Time is given as t thirty two point eight until it finally lifts off the ground. Determine the distance traveled before the takeoff. 
uh, we have two formula to form, uh, find out the distance. They are s is equal to ut plus half at square and v square is equal to u square plus 2 as. So uh, we can use the formula S is equal to UT plus half AT square initial velocity is equal to zero so the first term becomes zero and second term half into acceleration is given as three point two Again, the time is 32.8 square. Just work it out. Don't use calculators. I'm getting around 1700 or something. Premi, I'm getting 1700 meters, roughly. Yes, sir, correct, sir. 1700 and uh, exactly 21, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah. All of you, please calculate. I'm telling you, these calculations are very important. You should be comfortable with these calculations. So, let us not uh, worry about uh, taking time and calculating in our class. 1, 7 to 1.744. Yeah, I am getting roughly 1700. Why I, I did roughly means, in the normally in the exam, they will give four options. So, you, from the four options, you, even if you do little uh, approximately, you may be able to take one of the answers. So, that is the reason. Okay. Yes. You know, uh, Sabari or Abhinav, why I am doing this roughly means, uh, okay, if you can, like people like you have, we have calculated exactly. That is also correct. That is the best method. But to save some time, I take little approximation and then calculate and I'll see the options and then get it, uh, take the right answer. So you will save little time, maybe a few seconds you will save. So these are, yes. so, so I am trying, I am, see. From now onwards, you can keep these things in mind and try and do little approximations here and there and try and find the answer. Of course, in this case, we don't have the four options, but wherever the options are, that will be very useful to you. Uh, mind, you know, uh, you will be using your mind without even touching the pen, you can answer it. I'll tell you how I'll tell you. 32.8 into 32.8, it will be roughly about 900 and something, you know, almost equal to around 1000. Uh, and uh, into half means 500. So 500 into 3.2, how much it comes? Almost 1600, 700. So I like that I did it actually. <laughs> Maybe it's a very, very crude way of doing it. But then to save time, you can do like that. The half is a 1600, 1800, 1900, those variations only. Yeah, if the variation is bigger, then it will be easy for us. But if the variation is very close, 1710, 720, 730, then uh, we cannot do these approximations, no? Uh, that, that, that case we have to... We have to exactly calculate. So that you have to see the option first and then decide. That by by practice you will you can do it. 
by practice if the variations are very close don't try approximation like that you any doubt regarding these three problems if you have any doubt you can uh, clarify that now i hope all of you would have uh, worked out all the problems uh, i am going to ask only one question to all of our students what is the unit of acceleration can anyone tell what is the unit of meter acceleration meter per second square sir meter, meter per, per second square second square okay what is the unit of velocity meter per second what is the unit of uh, distance meter uh, sir meter so these things are also you should be very clear <laughs> what is the unit of our meter. time is uh, is uh, seconds no like that so the, these things you know when when we uh, when we do calculations all, always look at the unit also that is also equally important when you go up for the 11th standard 10th standard 12th standard that time you know you should also keep an eye on the unit not just the magnitude thank you premi for your you uh, know it was wonderful today i mean i was happy no problem so we'll we'll again continue in the next week okay hope all all of you enjoy today useful is it useful students is it useful yes, today yes sir